Oh, <gasps> Mr. Studley. <laughs> Hello. Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome to a chilly day. <laughs> Tapping off farm here in northeast Scotland. Rosa and I, what are we doing Rosa? Well, we're just walking the goats up to a bit of grazing outside. We've got some snow forecast, so just trying to eke out all the moments they can be out of the buyer. Um, so they're slowly following us. We've uh, had to tempt Heather away from Jed. Jed, yeah. Uh, so yeah. that's taken a little while. They're a little bit slower than usual. Hilarious. Um, Heather just is very infatuated by the smell of Jed, who we haven't introduced yet. Jed is our uh, borrowed Shetland top. That's right. A ram that we've brought in to get our Shetland sheep in lamb. He is a dish. I mean, he's a total. He's a, he's a lovely guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I understand. Heather is in season. Yeah. That's why she's yeah, infatuated she by him. Yeah, so we've tried, yesterday we tried getting her out to her grazing along with Heli um, and we just couldn't get her no. past the sheep pen. So Heather, this is not a billy goat, this is a sheep. Okay, we need to move on, we need to go. <laughs> um, she's a bit less noisy today, so even though she's still kind of in season, I reckon maybe she's not quite... Yeah, for some reason today we were able to get her past Jed, although yeah. she did kind of gaze longingly at him for a while. So yeah, she wasn't as not too bad. hot for it. And of course we've only got two goats. Yes, so Mandy has, well, basically swapped places with Jed for a little bit. So mm -hmm. we've done an exchange um, for the next few weeks. We've got Jed to be with our Shetland News, but um, Mandy has gone off to be with uh, a buck. Mr. Studley, a male goat. Oh, <gasps> Mr. Studley. Hello. Yesterday, our friends arrived with Jed in their trailer, uh, dropped him off, and then we just popped Mandy in the trailer, 
um, and took her back to uh, their farm where they have a buck at the moment with um, their goats, with their uh, what are going to be dairy goats. So um, we decided to, yeah, use use his holiday at their place to also take Mandy on holiday to enjoy him or for him to enjoy that as well. Um, so yes, basically the idea is that we're going to have Mandy and Kid, as we touched on in the last vlog. Um, and so yeah, this is just probably the best guarantee for that. Um, you can sometimes do it where you really just judge the, the, the right day and take them for just even just a few moments with, with a buck. But this is really for us um, and for me, you know, something I'm still learning. So this is the best opportunity to get her and kid without me completely knowing the perfect exact time uh, for her to be with the male. So and actually it was really promising when I arrived there um, because she even though she's not in season yet and not due in for another about nine or ten days. Uh, she was quite receptive to Mr. Studley. Um, didn't he, he did try, you know, mounting her, which she wasn't keen on, but other, other advances she was okay with. So yeah, really pleasantly surprised. It's her first time off the farm in three and a half years. So I was really amazed by how easily she got into the trailer. Um, she was just really good. And then it was just really nice to be able to go to our friend's farm and see her at the other end. Um, and see that she settled in just fine. So yeah, fingers crossed for Mandy. And of course that's the same with the sheep. We have got Jed, the Shetland top here for um, a few weeks, four weeks or so really, yeah. just as long um, as he does his job. We'll just let nature take its course with that one and uh, see how they go. Because uh, yeah, well, I mean when Jed first arrived, yeah, he, d he, he really did oh he tried he tried <laughs> yeah. his best yeah he was chasing our ewes around the field it's been very charming um, everybody was getting very out of breath <laughs> uh, but but to no avail he didn't he didn't manage um i don't think our ewes are in season yet um although there was a little bit of tail wagging going on yeah it builds over time again another reason why it's good to have them together for an amount of time because yeah. the presence of the male can really bring the, the females into season, season as well. Yeah. So that's the hope with the sheep. And again, it'll be just that best chance to try and get these guys in here. Yeah. So we've brought the two white goats up to graze since oh, it's a very bitter day, cold day. It's a nice dry day, so we'll get them out. So today we're going to be carrying on with the work over at the new tree nursery. In our last vlog we were just starting to mark out the shape of the beds, how wide they're going to be, how long they're going to be. And with snow forecast we would just like to get on with a bit more work in trying to um, finish the beds really, to at least get one or two beds ready to plant up um, because we've got tree stock that we can move from our kind of pop-up nurseries that we had to establish um, we'd like to move them over and maybe take a few cuttings some hardwood cuttings now we're in dormancy so as long as we've got at least two beds cultivated and ready to plant into we'll be happy if we make the rest of the beds um, it would be just nice to get them made and they can get covered up with a silage sheet and just over winter in that way so that in Late winter, early spring, they're ready to go with taking the majority of our cuttings then.
right, so that went well. We've been marking out the rest of the beds um, in this future tree nursery. And we just used the BCS and tiller to define the beds, break up the compaction that we've got. Like I said in, the, in a previous vlog, we're hopefully gonna stop. Oh, we've got a bit of snow coming. This is the last time we'll be using the tiller in this garden, hopefully. There's gonna be a bit of um, kind of tweaking um, just to make it um, a little bit easier to keep the pathways the same size and everything. But yeah, it, it's looking good. It really is following the curve. Yeah, that's the snow on now. I know, I know, exactly. This is, so we're trying to get this job done before it gets covered in white stuff. The area here underneath the black plastic is a cover crop of buckwheat that we sowed back in the summer. Yeah, we're not quite sure what we're going to do with this area yet. Alright guys, I think we're going to wrap things up for today. I'm just getting on with raking out these beds. We're going to be doing that for the next wee while. So we've got a lot of stones to pull out because of the big berm of rubble that was here a few years ago. So once we've done that, redefine the shape of the beds a bit. Um, and then maybe in the next couple of days, if the weather allows us, we'll pull off the tarp here and get the other half of the beds made. But good progress and um, great to see the lay of the land. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you today. Thanks again for watching our journey. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Um, please do give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please do check out our Patreon because there's lots more videos up there. All right guys, hope everyone's well. We'll catch you next time. See ya.